I'm recording uh, how to detach, properly detach and discard work sets so that you can have an independent copy of the model for Isabel here. Uh, let me... Go to where I downloaded it in my handouts, and I'm going to put the finished model there. So there's Isabel's file. So you can't you, you can't open it by double clicking the file. Revit is going to want you to start Revit separately, and then navigate over the opening. This shouldn't take more than two or three minutes. So from Revit, click on Open. Okay, watch carefully now. There's there's a file. You have to click here before opening. Detach from Central. Then you get this prompt. Preserve work sets. If I think I made a mistake when I explained this to you guys, maybe I had I had you preserve the work set. You want to discard the work set, and then you can create others if you want. So what that does is it appends uh, the word underscore detached to the file name. So this is going to be detached detached extra detached ignore you can ignore that now when I do a save as you can save as a project you don't have to worry about the detached part and let's just type over this holding fixed save then when you close this file right now if I take the fixed model and just copy it to my desktop for example now I can double click it and Revit will open it directly without warning. And I could save it without a problem. So that's just saved on my desktop that you can get the file from. All right. All right, five minutes. <laughs>